Mysterious, unique and weird Uranus rings stun astronomers because they glow in dark light. Well, we know that Saturn has rings, and here is an image of Saturn and its rings, but what has recently been found using infrared telescope from Hawaii is that Uranus also has rings, and they glow in bright, uh, dark light. This is the Express UK article by Tom Fish. We're also going to read the Berkeley news on this because these images are from the University of California at Berkeley. The mysterious rings around Uranus are even odder than anticipated. Space rocks warming warmed from an unexplained source. Why would they be warmed? How would they get light? Because Uranus is so far out. Anyway, why would they give heat out? An unexplained heat wave is warming the rings of Uranus, even though the planet orbits away far from the sun. The latest heat images of the planet obtained by two telescopes in Chile have for the first time revealed the rather surprising temperature of Uranus rings. And although the minus 195 Celsius, that's minus 320 Fahrenheit, the boiling temperature of liquid nitrogen sounds cold. It's far warmer than expected. Most of the universe is much colder. It approaches a temperature called absolute zero, which is about minus 273 degrees Celsius. It's minus 460 Fahrenheit, absolute zero. It's the lowest temperatures, and this is the lowest temperatures that can plummet, a point at which even atoms stop their movement. Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, is found far out in the solar system, and the planet receives only a fraction of the heat from the sun that our Earth receives. It's an ice giant. It orbits our star at an average distance of 19 astronomical units. We know one astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the sun, which is 93 million miles. That's 150 million kilometers. The astronomers who captured the latest images of Uranus do not know what is causing the relative warmth. But the unexplained temperature proves the brightest and densest ring at Uranus, known as the Epsilon ring, is unique from all other rings in our solar system. Every giant planet in our solar system, that is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, has its own set of rings that Saturns are the most spectacular and best understood. It's because Saturns are easily visible, even with just a small telescope, and because NASA's Cassini mission studied them up close. But Saturn's rings are totally different from those surrounding Uranus. Ike de Pater, an astronomer from the University of California, the study's co-author said, Saturn's many icy rings are broad and bright and have a range of particle sizes from micro-sized dust in the innermost D-ring to tens of meters in size in the main rings. The small end is missing in the main rings of Uranus. The brightest ring, Epsilon, is composed of golf ball-sized and larger rocks, and the Epsilon ring also differs from rings observed in other giant planets. Jupiter's rings are made of particles that are each roughly a thousandth of a millimeter in diameter, while Neptune's rings are made up almost entirely of dust. The Epsilon ring does not even resemble the main rings of Uranus, as vast tracts of dust lie in between them. The study lead author Edward Malter added, we already know that the Epsilon ring is a bit weird because we do not see the smaller stuff. Something has been sweeping the smaller stuff out, or it is all gloaming together. We just don't know. This is a step towards understanding the ring's composition and whether all of the rings came from the same source material or are different from each other. And concerning what's written in Berkeley. This is Berkeley News by Robert Sanders. Astronomers see warm glow of Uranus's rings. The rings of Uranus, invisible to all but the largest telescopes, they were not even discovered until lately 1977. 
that they're surprisingly bright in a new heat image of the planet taken by two large telescopes in the high deserts of Chile. And you'll see uh, later on, you'll see uh, the Hawaii Infrared Telescope having to do with the uh, close-up of the infra near infrared image of the ring system taken with adaptive optic system in the 10 kilometer Keck Telescope, Hawaii, July 2004. The thermal glow gives astronomers another window into the rings, which have been seen only because they reflect a little light in the, in the visible or optical range in the near infrared. The new image taken by the Atacama Large Millimeter, Submillimeter Array, ALMA for short, and the Very Large Telescope, VLT for short, allowed the team for the first time to measure the temperature of the rings a cool 77 Kelvin, or 77 degrees above absolute zero, the boiling temperature of liquid nitrogen, an equivalent to 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The observations also confirm that Uranus's brightest and densest ring, called the Epsilon ring, differs from the other known ring systems within our solar system, in particular the spectacularly beautiful rings of Saturn. Saturn's mainly icy rings are broad, bright, and have a range of particle sizes from micron-sized dust to the innermost D-ring to tens of meters in size in the main rings. As per Imke de Pater, UC Berkeley professor of astronomy, he says the small end is missing in the main rings of Uranus, the brightest ring epsilon composed of golf ball-sized and larger rocks. And by comparison, Jupiter's rings contain mostly small micron-sized particles a micron is a thousandth of a millimeter. Neptune's rings are also mostly dust, and even Uranus has broad sheets of dust between its narrow main rings. And we already know the epsilon ring is a bit weird because we don't see the smaller stuff. Edward Moulter says something has been sweeping the smaller stuff out, or it's all gloaming together and we just don't know. It's a step towards understanding their composition and whether all of the rings came from the same source material or different from each other, uh, from other rings. Rings could be formed from former asteroids captured by the planet's gravity, remnant of moons that crashed into one another and shattered, the remains of moons torn apart when they got too close to Uranus, or debris remaining from the time of formation four and a half billion years ago. The new data were published this week in the Astronomical Journal and DePatter and Moulter led the ALMA observations while Michael Roman and Lee Fletcher from University of Leicester in United Kingdom led the Very Large Telescope observations. The rings of Uranus are compositionally different from Saturn's main rings in the sense that in optical and infrared, the albedo is much lower and they are really dark like charcoal. Walter said, they are also extremely narrow compared to the rings of Saturn. The widest, the epsilon ring, varies from 20 to 100 kilometers wide, whereas Saturn's are hundreds or tens of thousands of kilometers wide. The lack of dust-sized particles in Uranus' main ring was first noted when Voyager 2 flew by the planet in 1986 and photographed them. The spacecraft was unable to measure the temperature of the rings, however. The data astronomers have counted to date. The astronomers have counted a total of 13 rings around Uranus, with some bands of dust between the rings. The rings differ in other ways from those of Saturn. It's cool that they, we can even do this with the instruments we have. He said, I was trying to image the planet, the planet as best I could and saw the rings, and it was amazing. Both the LVT and ALMA observations were designed to explore the temperature structure of Uranus, atmosphere with LVD probing, shorter wavelengths than ALMA. Fletcher said, we were astonished to see the rings jump out clearly when we reduced the data for the first time. This presents an exciting opportunity for the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, which will be able to provide vastly improved spectroscopic constraints on the Uranian, uh, Uranians, uh, Uranus rings in the coming decade. The Berkeley research was funded by National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. Work at the University of Leicester in the UK, supported by the European Research Council, under the European Union's Horizon 220 Research and Innovation Program. 
thermal emission from the Iranian ring system, according to Cornell University in Tekka, New York, the narrow main rings of Uranus compose of almost exclusive centimeter to meter sized particles with a very small or non-existent dust component. However, the filling factor, composition, thickness, mass, and detailed particle size, distribution of these rings remains poorly constrained. Using millimeter imaging from the Atacama large array and mid-infrared imaging the very large telescope, VSAR instrument, we observe the thermal component of the Uranian ring system for the first time. The epsilon ring is detected strongly, can be seen by eye in the images, and other main rings are visible in a radial azimuthali average profile at millimeter wavelengths. Simple thermal motor similar to the NIAT M model for near Earth asteroids is applied to the epsilon ring to determine the ring particle temperature. The observed temperature is higher than expected for fast rotating ring particles viewed at or observed geometry, meaning that the data favor a model in which the thermal inertia of the ring particles is low and or the rotation rate is slow. The epsilon ring displays a factor of 2 to 3 brightness difference between periapsis and apoapsis with 49.1 of sight sightliness through the ring striking a particle. These observations are consistent with optical and near-infrared reflected light observations confirming the hypothesis that micron-sized dust is not present in the ring system. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.